Well, the Idaho National Laboratory is the country's lead lab for nuclear energy, but there's expertise, nuclear expertise, in many of the national laboratories in the U.S. at Brookhaven, certainly substantial capabilities at Oak Ridge, at, uh, at Los Alamos, at Sandia, at Livermore, at Argonne. And what we do is we try to be the technical integrators and pull all the expertise in the labs together to focus on a specific issue. In this case, uh, many of the people in the laboratories were involved in some of the safety studies and analysis that went into the designs of plants, to the regulatory uh, regimes that exist. So there's substantial uh, expertise in sometimes very, uh, very technical and in some cases very narrow. I mean, we're not the operators and we're certainly not the regulator and we don't bring those important uh, perspectives to the near-term issues, but we can help, uh, we can help across the full range of, of the uh, challenge that the Japanese are facing in terms of stabilizing the situation, uh, you know, what's the impact of the salt, for example, that's been injected into the reactor vessels and a detailed look at, uh, at bounding that kind of problem. So laboratories can bring lots of uh, analytical expertise, um, asking what if questions. This is what we know. This is what we don't know. What do you think? Thinking with the Japanese. And then there are some very practical things. I and mean, we've sent some, for example, robots over to Japan already and some cameras that will work in a um, high radiation environment and those kind of tools. We've also contacted our sister laboratories in Japan and we've asked them to contact us when they need a problem that uh, they're working on that we can help think with them, perhaps use our high performance computing to help them. And uh, we hope that we support both uh, the industry in the United States as well as the regulator as they need you know, our kind of support and their equivalents in Japan.